We're in a cornfield in mid-July uh, that is infested with western bean cutworm. And as you can see, this corn is uh, just past pollinating. And of course, the time that we scout for western bean cutworm is generally in the whorl stage. First thing to point out is that scouting at this point is much more difficult and much more tedious than it is looking for eggs because you're looking for uh, larvae that could be in a variety of places. They could be at the leaf axle, they could be in the um, intersection between the ear and the stalk, they could be in the silks, they could be in the actual ear. Uh, that's why we emphasize scouting at the egg period. However, having said all that, there's still some value in scouting fields at this point because you still may be able to see and intercept some of the larvae. Uh, often if you see one larva on a plant, you'll see more because of course that egg mass which typically had over 20 eggs in it, those larvae don't necessarily move very far in the early stages to get to uh, a food source. So you'll often see more than one larva per plant and you'll go many plants without seeing any larva. What we're getting at here is it's a very clumped distribution and to make decisions about the level of infestation in the field it's necessary to go to many areas of the field. When you're looking for these larvae, um, most of the action, in fact almost all of it in terms of larvae, is going to be centered around the ear, so the, the, around the reproductive part of the plant. So perhaps a collar above and a collar below and then the, uh, the uh, leaf collar that contains the ear is where you're going to want to look. Look in, in where that pollen settles, look for larvae there, look in the silks, pull them back gently and poke around in there and then look also in the, in the axles below them. In theory, we could contact these insects with insecticides if we were to make an application of insecticide right now. Uh, but at this point, scouting is more of a, uh, to get an idea of how much, uh, how many larvae there are and if there are any opportunities uh, for insecticidal control. Now, there is one last thing to keep in mind when you consider insecticide application uh, for this pest, and that is you have a lot of beneficial insects working in these fields. Um, things like lacewings, lady beetle larvae, parasites, uh, a lot of natural mortality of these young larvae. Uh, we don't see anywhere near uh, the majority of the eggs that hatch surviving. Um, so if insecticide applications are deemed necessary, it has to be balanced with the fact that a lot of these beneficial insects are going to be uh, killed as well.